Welcome to all of you on the channel Maths with Munir. I hope that you all are doing great and watching my videos. So today we are going to start a topic which is about properties of a circle. And the reason I am starting this topic, although we were on about transformation, because uh, some students are going to have their exam in next week, so they requested if somewhere I can make a one good video for them. So I hope that this video will help them in many ways. So keep watching this video till the end because at the end I am going to make a big announcement which will help you in so many ways. So in order to understand about the properties of a circle it is very important for you to know about what actually a circle is. Because if you don't know the answer of this question then uh, um, I, it seems that it would be very difficult for you to understand about it, its properties. So what I am going to do now I am taking a random point over here and name it, name, naming it as O on this plane. So I have taken a point, arbitrary point on this plane and I am naming it as O. So what I am going to do now, I am taking another point which is some distance away from this point. I have taken another point which is some distance away from this point O. So what I am going to do now, I am going to take another point which is which has the same distance as these two points are having like uh, over here and then over here over here i will try to take as much as point as much as point i can and i will make sure that all the points are having the same distance as the initial points were having so once you join all these points they form a circle i try my best to make sure that my circle is perfect so if somewhere it's not, so neglect that part. So all the points that are equidistance from a fixed point is basically called a circle. So that's how we can define that all the points that are equidistance from a fixed point is basically called circle. Okay. So all these points that are equidistance from a fixed point are basically called radius. So that is going to be your radius. That is going to be your radius that is going to be your radius this point is also radius so these all are called radius of a circle so the point that we have taken and once we join them they form a circle so all those points are basically lying on a boundary of a circle and boundary of a circle is also defined the perimeter of a circle like uh, for us it, it's very easier for students and also for teacher uh, to give answer for this question that how to define a perimeter of a square we know that the perimeter is usually the boundary of any figure that you are having so if we are talking about the square and length, one length of a square is basically x so perimeter is going to be 4x so in the case of a triangle perimeter is going to be 3x so in the case of a rectangle it's going to be 2 into length plus breadth but over here the circle doesn't have any side so how we will define the uh, perimeter of a circle so it would be defined as perimeter of a circle as circumference of a circle and circumference of a circle we all know that is basically called 2 pi r okay so what next now on this circle I am going to take a line segment and I will try my best to make sure that that line segment whatever I am taking is basically touch the circle at two points. So I have taken this point and I have taken this point and I am drawing a line segment over here. So the line segment that uh, touch the circle at two point is basically called chord of a circle and this chord of a circle divides the circle into two parts one part would be this part will be called as minor segment and this will be major segment of a circle okay so what next now you can take as many as chord you can over here over here and this and this and this and this you can even take chord in these way as well so the chord that divides the circle into two equal parts and especially pass, passing through the center has a special name. So that chord will be called as diameter of a circle. Why diameter of a circle? Because that, that, that chord is dividing the circle into two equal parts. Okay, so how about uh, 
tangent of a circle how do we define uh, tangent of a circle so a circle a point and over here sorry okay the fixed point o and we draw a circle o over here so a line that to touch the circle at one point is basically called tangent of a circle so this will be called as tangent of a circle so if a line draw like this and cuts the circle at two points that would be called as secant line secant line do not be confused in that some of the students are always confused that sir if a line touch this line segment touch the circle at two point it, this is basically called chord so then why this is not a chord so the main difference between these two point that this is basically your line segment line segment is a part of a line and that is going to be your line that is going to be line so if a line touch the circle at two point that would be called as a secant line and that is actually your chord so i hope that now you all have a basic idea about uh, so how um, how to draw a circle radius diameter chord minor segment major segment tangent line and also secant line so from this all we are going to start and we are going to learn about the first property of a circle okay so the first property of a circle says that radius radius and tangent of a circle are always are always perpendicular so let's say this is your radius of a circle and this is tangent so they will always be perpendicular and you will write that first radius of a circle and tangent of a circle are always perpendicular so this is basically your first property of a circle so the second property of a circle says that if we are taking two equal chords on on this circle if we are taking two equal chord on this circle let's say one is uh, over here and the other one is over here so i am trying my best to draw a circle which actually perfect this doesn't look perfect at all so neglect that part and and try to understand the thing that i am i wanted to convey okay if we are taking two equal chords on a circle then angle subtended by these two equal chord with the center will always be equal so how join the end point of this chord with the center of a circle and name this chord as a b and the center is having o so this is the angle that we are having so now the other chord draw the end point with the center of a circle and name it as c d and here is another angle that we are having so these two angles are going to be equal so the second property says that two equal chords make an equal make uh, two equal chords make an equal angle with the center of a circle with the center of a circle so that is basically going to be your second property if i define this in a more easier and more proper way so you know if if we have a line segment over here let's say any any line x y line we are having and what i'm trying to do now that i am trying to draw a perpendicular bisector for this line by opening the compass more than half i will draw an arc over here and over here from this point and i will draw another arc by keeping this point as a center on the top and on the bottom of a line so once i am joining these two point together i will get a midpoint of a line so if you join these this midpoint to the one end of a si uh, line segment and other point of a line segment so these two angles are going to be always equal why because the distance from here to here and from here to here is equal so that is how we can learn that the two equal chords will make an equal angle 
with this center so we can write angle doc doc will be equals to angle uh, angle boa so that's how we can define the second property of a circle so the third property of a circle is about so the third property of a circle is about that if we take a point outside of a circle if we are taking a point outside of a circle here is the center let's say this is a point that we are taking p so we are going to draw two tangents from this point here and from here so call it as let's say p a and p b so p a and p b are basically the two tangents that we have drawn from an external point so the third property says that the distance between them is always equal so tangents drawn from an external point from a circle will always have the equal distance so pa will be equals to pb that is going to be your third property so the fourth property is about okay so take a semicircle this now if we take any point any point on a boundary of this semicircle let's say over here and name it as p so join this point p with a and this point b this angle is always going to be 90 degree so the fourth property that we can define that if we take any point p on a boundary of a semicircle that point will always make a 90 degree angle with the end point of a diameter so you will write take any point take any point p and take any point p on a semicircle and join it with the end point with the end point of a diameter then the angle will always be 90 degree okay we can also define it as the angle uh, angle inscribed by a semicircle is always going to be 90 degree that is another way of uh, defining this point so the fifth property that we are going to learn about uh, uh, circle is this okay i am drawing a circle over here and i am taking two points a and let's say this is going to be your b okay and a b is a chord so points taken in a same segments will always make same angle so i am taking another point c over here and d over here d and c join this point c with the end point over here and join this point d with the end points over here so these two angle c and d are going to be equal so angle the point taken in a same segment we know that the chord a b divide the circle into two part the minor part and the major part and we have taken the point c and d in a major uh, in major segment of a circle so the points taken in a same segment are going to subtend the same angle okay so fourth and this is your fifth property okay so i let me write it over here so the fifth property says that points taken in a same segment in a same segment will make equal angle will make equal angles like 
एंगल ए सी बी एंगल ए सी बी इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल्स टू एंगल बी डी ए और यू कैन राइट ए डी बी सो दीज दिस इज योर फिफ्थ प्रॉपर्टी ओके हाउ अबाउट वन मोर प्रॉपर्टी सिक्स विच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी फॉर शॉर्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन so if we are taking the sixth property says that if we draw a circle like this with the center o and draw take two points over here join this with this and this so you will call them as a and b and over here we are having an angle now take any other point take another point p on any segment of the major, of the major segment so i am taking another point p over here now join this point p with a and with b so we were we are going to have another angle over here so the sixth property says that angle subtended by an arc angle subtended by an arc ab with the center o is always going to be double from this so we can write that sixth property as angle apb will be two times angle aob so this is a sixth property which says that the angle subtended by an arc with the center of a circle is always going to be double with the angle making any other segment on a point p so i hope that this video is quite helpful for you there are much more topics that need to, there are much more sub topics that need to be covered in properties of a circle and there are much more properties i will try my best that in my in my coming in future videos i i am taking some particular question where i i will use these properties and we will learn that how by using these properties we can find the missing Uh, things of a circle so the announcement that i was talking about initial in in my starting of this video was about that please try to let me know as much as possible the, the topics in which you people are struggling we all know that the examination uh, the exam dates are announced and the igcse students have to be appear for 5th may and 7th may for their exam so if you want me to start a series of a particular topic so please let me know in the comment section then i will try to make a proper plan for all of you guys so that you could learn all these o level type topics before your exam so if you are new to my channel do subscribe and share the link with as much as students you can i hope that my videos are helping you out well